Good morning. Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ to McCownville United Methodist Church. As United Methodist Christians, we are called to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. If you are attending from home, you may post your prayers on the Facebook feed. We will continue to uplift your prayers this morning and throughout the week. If you are worshiping this morning in person, masks are not required, though you are welcome to wear a mask. All are invited to join in aloud on the spoken prayers and on the songs. The offering this morning will be collected at the end of worship. During the service, there will be a time to reflect on your offering in response to God's blessings. Then as you exit, leave your offering in the plates at the end of the back pews, or you can mail it to the church office or donate online. I don't think there are any announcements, so the first hymn is 606, Come, that's used to Grace Divine by Charles Wesley. Let us join in the opening prayer. O oh God, searcher of all our hearts, you have formed us as a people and claimed us for your own. As we come to acknowledge your sovereignty and grace and to enter anew into covenant with you, reveal any reluctance or falsehood within us. Let your spirit impress your truth on our inmost being, and receive us in mercy for the sake of our mediator, Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us give thanks for all of God's mercies. O God, our covenant friend, you have been gracious to us through all the years of our lives. We thank you for your loving care, which has filled our days and brought us to this time and place. We praise your holy name, O God. You have given us life and reason and set us in a world filled with your glory. You have comforted us with family and friends and ministered to us through the hands of our sisters and brothers. We praise your holy name, O God. You have filled our hearts with a hunger after you and have given us your peace. You have redeemed us and called us to a high calling in Christ Jesus. You have given us a place in the fellowship of your spirit and the witness of your church. We praise your holy name, O God. You have been our light in darkness and a rock of strength in adversity and temptation. You have been the very spirit of joy in our joys and the all-sufficient reward in all our labors. We praise you of only name, O God. You remembered us when we forgot you. You followed us even when we tried to flee from you. We met, you met us with forgiveness and we returned, when we returned to you for all your patience and overflowing grace. We praise your holy name, O oh God. back. Are there any other young disciples that'd like to come down for a message? Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Look at all those bright faces. Cheery. Wide awake, huh? No? Happy New Year, how are you doing? Good? How's your New Year going? Good? Off to a good start? That's wonderful. Today we're doing something a little different. We are covenanting. You know we make a lot of New Year's resolutions, promises that we don't keep. We're usually a month later, we say we're going to lose weight, and then we're eating candy a month later. Today's a covenant between us and God to get on the right track for the year. Did you ever... <clears throat> Here's a story about Horton Here's a Fool, or I think it's called, and he sits on an egg. Huh? Dr. Seuss, you ever hear that story? Yeah. No. No? no. I, my wife was right. I should have had the book with me today. <laughs> um, once again, um, Horton is an elephant, Dr. Seuss writes about. And Maisie is a duck-like bird. And Maisie is lazy. And Maisie doesn't want to sit on the egg to keep it warm because it's cold. So Maisie wants to go to Florida where it's nice and warm. Huh? So she asks Horton to sit on it and she convinces Horton, the elephant, to sit on her egg and keep it warm and he promises to do it. But Maisie says, I'll be right back, but doesn't come right back. Maisie takes off and goes to Florida on a vacation and leaves Horton sitting on the egg. And Horton said, I made a promise. He said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, and I won't leave this egg. He made a promise, and he kept it. Are we good at that? Do you keep your promises? Huh? I promise I'll clean my room. No? No, I don't like to clean my room. No? No? You make a mistake. I promise I won't do that again. And then what happens? It happens again, huh? We make promises that we forget and we can't keep. That's what a covenant is. It's a promise. And God makes covenants with us. Do you know any covenants in the Bible? Do you remember any? How about Noah and the ark? Do you know? A rainbow. To make it so that there wouldn't be a flood on the earth ever again. 
there wouldn't be a flood or an earth. And that was a promise that God made, huh? And God keeps his promises, right? Yeah. Noah and the ark, right? And then Moses. He made a promise to be your God and you will be my people. When they crossed the river, you remember when the, red, the river parted the Jordan, huh? And they escaped from Pharaoh? God makes promises and keeps them. We make promises to God that we don't always keep, but we want to make a covenant and we're going to try anew to promise this year to be faithful to God and keep our promises to God. Isn't that great? Huh? You have any promises you want to make to God that you'd like to keep? I'm going to drink lots of water, huh? Okay. I'm going to try and be in Sunday school, go to church, and be a nice person to my friends, right? And clean my room like I'm supposed to, right? Huh? We got we got that promise, didn't we? Oh, yeah? Well, I am so glad to see you in this new year, and I promise to be faithful to leading you to grow to be disciples and answer your questions and help and lead you. And we're all going to promise to be here for you and do that because we're your family in the church. Isn't that great? Let's pray together. Gracious God, as we come before you this day, we do promise we make this covenant and so, so want to keep it and know the blessings that you have in store for us. Watch over these precious children, Lord, and help us to be faithful in leading them and, and helping them to grow as faithful disciples for you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And now you are released to go to Sunday school, but stop first at the candy basket, please. Happy New Year. God bless you. Thank you. Well, I greet you on this New Year Sunday, the second Sunday in the New Year, and welcome you. It's good to see you all. Everybody's doing well? Yeah, we're here. Okay, good. The New Year's off to a great start like the kids. Um, did you all clean your rooms? No, I see some heads shaking now, tell the truth. Um, we are going to gather for a few moments to... Uh, to be in prayer together for each other and with each other as we do. Um, this morning I lift up Dan Willie who is looking for rehab to meet his needs. They're having some difficulty so we pray for God's spirit to clear the way for that um, following his stroke for rehab. Um, Nancy is not feeling 100% yet. She's on the organ. We, we lift you up Nancy and um, uh, Miss, Melissa's mom, Barbara Graham, is um, doing better and improving. We thank God for those prayers being answered. Um, we lift up the Wells family. We continue to lift them up with, with some loss in that family and tragedy in, in a repeated way with the loss of loved ones. Um, Norm Swanson at home, we continue to lift you up. Hal recovering from pneumonia as well, Hal Williams, uh, Carl and Ilder Morris, we lift you up for health, uh, Mary Mossman, we lift you up as you continue to experience 
challenges from the medications for treating the cancer. And we just pray for God's healing Holy Spirit to be poured out on all of you. Um, Jean G, we lift you up as well. Steve Benjamin, I see, is here today. We've been lifting you up and pray for your continued healing. Great to see you. You're looking good. Bill Turby has some problems with his leg and foot. We lift Bill up um, and for healing for him also. And as we pray for healing um, and we pray, I, I remind you of DeMar Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills player who was hit during the game this past week and uh, was dead. It, it shook his heart. He had a cardiomyopathy, something that happened, and 24 years old, and they resuscitated him eventually and took him to the hospital, but weren't sure if he was going to recover. But as of today, he has recovered, and um, he is speaking. Life support has been removed, and uh, he just... Uh, he told the doctors, as soon as he came out, he asked the doctors, who won the game? And they said, you won the game. You won the game of life. And uh, miracles happen around us still. I just want to remind you of that. So whatever it may be that's on your heart this morning, whatever circumstances or challenges you're facing, God is active and God's promises are true. And God is a God of miracles. And that's awesome. Um, I invite any other prayers. Melissa, was there a couple you had told me about? Yeah, a friend of mine, um, I lost uh, cousin in Atlanta. She was born 15. Yeah, Alasia Casio's cousin. Yeah, we lift him up. All right. Yes, the Johnson family in Indiana um, for the passing of a 20-year-old child in that family. Um, and Riley made it safely back after a canceled flight, and we uh, managed to, God worked us through that and, and got her back safely. So uh, we thank God for that. Yes. Okay, family Dakotas uh, in the church Dakotas serving in Pennsylvania has lost an eight-year-old child as a result of an accident. So we pray for that family and for that church family as well. Uh, yes, Jim. Yeah, nephew, Brad. nephew Brad. For open heart surgery. We lift him up and pray for him for him in advance and the doctors and the nurses that God has already assembled to, to treat him and perform the surgery. We pray for them. Lord, hear our prayers. Are there any others? It's good to see you back, Frank. I'm glad you're feeling well. Okay, for our country, our nation to work together, our leaders. Her name is what? Jean. 80th birthday in Germany. Okay. Happy birthday, Jean. If you're joining us from Germany, good morning. Yes. Thank God. Sandy's sister finishing up chemo and 
Things look good. It seems to be in remission. We thank God for that and pray it stays that way. God's spirit be poured out on her as well. Thank God for that. We have been praying for her and we lift that up. All right, let's come together then and uh, lift up those prayers that, uh, that we've heard and those prayers that are on your hearts but um, have remained unspoken this morning. They still rise up to God and God hears all our prayers together. Let's be in a spirit of prayer together. Most gracious and holy God, we thank you. We join with grateful hearts as we come before you this morning with another opportunity, another day. And this is the day you have made, Lord, and help us to rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what the circumstances, help us to keep our eyes on Jesus and trust, Lord, and and know that you are with us in the midst of it all. And, and while we don't understand these shootings and tragedies, Lord, we know that you are with us and that we can be a part of bringing about a better kingdom, your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. Help us to be faithful disciples as we join to covenant with you for this year ahead. We thank you for the prayers that we've seen answered and for the miracle work that we often miss For those names we've lifted before you this morning, Lord, both spoken and unspoken, we pray that you would touch each and every individual in your own way as you choose by your Holy Spirit. Give them what they need, Lord, from you only, as only you can. We pray for peace and healing. We pray for the least, last, lost, and the lonely, and the homeless, those who are struggling just to to survive today, wherever it may be, for those in war-torn countries, Lord, and for the children of the world that are suffering and struggling and neglected, Lord, be with them. For your children who are wrestling with addiction and for this life that has been lost as a result of overdose, Lord, we pray for that family and we pray for all those who are stuck in addiction of any kind. Break those chains and let them know resurrected life, Lord, as you've shown us in your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray for all who may be suffering in body, mind, or spirit this day, that they may find your healing grace. We thank you, Lord, just for the privilege of being able to be with you, and you be with us. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The first scripture for, for today 
is from 2 Kings <clears throat> chapter 23, verses 1 through 3, and Psalm 50. In 2 Kings, Josiah renews the covenant. Then the king called together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. He went up to the temple of the Lord with the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests, and the prophets, all the people from the least to the greatest. He read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant, which had been found in the temple of the Lord. The king stood by the pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and keep his commands, statutes, and decrees with all his heart and all his soul, thus confirming the words of the covenant written in this book. Then all the people pledged themselves to the covenant. And Psalm 50. The mighty one, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me this consecrated people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for he is a God of justice. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings which are ever before me. I have no need of a bow from your stall or of goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine and a cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thanksgiving offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. But to the wicked person, God says, what right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But I now arraign you and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thanks, thank offerings honor me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. May God bless this reading to his name. 